Good evening, everyone. I'm Liz Bishop. Greg has the night off. Plans for the new Schoharie County Jail will move forward, despite a large crowd opposed to the plans at tonight's public hearing. Brandon Lewis was at the meeting. He joins us in studio now. And Brandon, the Board of Supervisors didn't take any action tonight. But apparently that speaks volumes. Yeah, it does, Liz. The jail site was selected about a year ago, but only recently did people start opposing it as word started to spread. Now, tonight the board could have voted to do another site survey, but chose not to, which means the current site stays. The scoring was biased. The Seabolds received preferential treatment from you. Nearly 100 people packed the Board of Supervisors' chambers to express concerns. Traffic concerns, noise concerns, the like, everything else that's been mentioned here. On the site of Schoharie County's new jail. How about in nobody's backyard? Let's buy some property that meets the needs, that is more secluded, more isolated, and not surrounded by 40 private residences. Current plans have it going along Route 30 just before entering the village of Schoharie at the Seabolt Farm. The last jail was destroyed by floodwaters from Tropical Depression Irene. The county says it needed a site above the floodplain close to the county court with access to a sewer line and other jails should another flood occur. We all evaluated all of the potential sites and in the end the Seabolt site was deemed to be the best. The board voted last June to approve the site and received federal funding for it in April. There was not a, a hint of any negative reaction. But news that shovels were imminent prompted new objections from residents. There is value in coming over that mountain and seeing that valley. The board took no action. Only one person spoke in favor of the plan, prompting sneers. I'm ashamed of you people that speak that way at a public meeting. Too bad. I'll also tell you how concerned I am. That's enough, please. How concerned I am about the fact that here is another example of groups coming out against something that could be a benefit to our community. No motion was made to consider alternate sites. The new jail will take about three years to build. Until then, the county will continue sending inmates to Albany County, where it pays close to $1 million a year for housing. FEMA pays about 70% of that bill. Live in studio, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.